What's up guys, Blake here from GodOfVaping.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys my visit to Vapor Slam 2. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. So my journey started with my wife and I jumping in our car and taking a seven and a half hour drive all the way to Charlotte, North Carolina. Now I know to many of you that travel a lot, seven and a half hours isn't very long for you. However, for us, it was very, very long. Like super long. That seven and a half hours felt like twenty hours. Turning it up, C P T L B C. Yeah, we hooking back up. And when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get up. Cause homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving it up. Low life, yo life, boy, we living it up. Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show. Slip my girl a forty four when she crept in the back door. And we finally made it to our hotel, but we couldn't stop there. We had to go ahead and go to the convention center so we could get a little bit of the setup process. Chickens looking at me strange, but you know I don't care. Step up in this mother, what? Just a swank in my head. Trick, quick talking, quick walk if you down with the set. Take a bullet with some grip and take the smoke on this jet. Out of town, put it down for the father of rap. And if you happen to get cracked, trick, shut your trap. Come back, get back. That's the part of success. If you believe in the S, you'll be relieving your stress. Is that who I think it is? Who am I? It's the one and only Diego Double G. Snoop Dogg! You know what I'm on with the D-O-E. Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's the one and only Diego Double G. Snoop Dogg! Hold up. After filming that for you guys, we were very tired and we were ready to get some sleep. That being said, we made it back to our hotel, which was the Aloft. So guys, we finally made it to the hotel and now we're just sitting here chilling, relaxing and waiting for the big day, which is Friday. Now, before we actually got unpacked, we went to the convention or where the convention is actually being held. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my past videos of me visiting, say, uh, the Tampa Convention and the Tennessee Convention. Now, I've only been to VCC conventions, and to be honest with you, they were nice. I, I, I felt at home with the VCC Convention. And not to mention, Kevin Skipper is a total badass. So when we visited Vapor Slam 2, uh, during the setup process, I was blown away. I mean, I was, I, I can't believe how huge this event is. Vapor Slam, the convention, actually won Best of 2015, for Guide to Vaping's Best of 2015 Conventions category. And they easily won the Best Convention category. And now I pretty much see why. Like I said, I'm just truly blown away at the sheer size of this convention, the amount of uh, companies that's attending this uh, convention. And I think you guys are gonna see that with my video uh, if you keep on watching. Now, we woke up early the next morning, which was Friday morning and we wanted to get there to the convention before everybody else. And by us making it there early, we could show you everybody that came in. Oh, 
Hold up. Take one for the team. I gotta unlock it first, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Nice hit. Hey, what my niggas would be thinking we saw. We don't play. We gon' rock it till the wheels fall off. Hold up. Hey, what my niggas would be acting too bold. Take up. And while I was there, I went ahead and took some pictures just to show you guys. See, hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey, hey, hey. So that first day was huge. This event was absolutely epic and I was just blown away by the sheer size and the amount of people. I got a lot of goodies to show off and I'm pretty excited about this event overall. So we finally made our way back to the hotel and I decided to show you guys some of my goodies and tell you why it's important to bring your partner, spouse, or side chick with you. So today is Friday and we just returned from Vapor Slam 2. This convention, I know I've already probably said it in this video, but this convention is absolutely huge. Now, of course, when you visit a vape convention, you're going to buy different stuff. People are gonna give you stuff for free. And I managed to walk out of there with some very cool mods. And uh, I must say, I'm really excited right now. For an example, for an example, um, I got this, what is it called? It's called the uh, Mini Vault. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this mod, but it's a very, very, very small uh, 40 watt mod, basically. I was expecting the 40 watt mod to do well. Um, uh, they said that it has a 1300 mAh uh, built-in battery, and the tank, you know how I am with tanks, you know, I just didn't really expect much from it, but I'm really impressed with how it's performing. Uh, let me just show you guys. Yeah, so this little boy um, is actually putting out some gray clouds. It performs well. Uh, I haven't charged it all the way, but when I got it, it was uh, had half a battery. So I'm just wondering how long I can get on this before I need to recharge it. Either way, it looks very good and it's very, very, very small. Uh, so this is definitely one that I'd like to take with me. Um, for example, me and my wife are about to go out and pick us up something to eat around this hotel. And I don't wanna take my big old clunky um, Relo DNA 200. So I think I'm gonna bring this with me. Now, I also got, uh, let's see here. What is this bad boy? Oh, goodness. It is the Wismic Vapor Flask Classic. I don't have any batteries in here right now. I'm charging them, as you guys can see. So, uh, there's gonna be a review on this pretty soon. Now also got i wanted the classic really bad i mean me and my wife we went up and down these aisles me and daniel went up and down these aisles to try to find this classic for me and i finally found it uh i forgot who i bought it uh archive vapors i think it was uh, i finally found it from them i got the classic and then i also got let's see let me show you guys this let me take it out the box get out get out the damn box get out the box so I also got this bad boy right here, and this is the Vapor Flask Stout. It holds a 26650 battery, and it also holds an 18650 battery. So this will be a review coming up soon as well. Now you guys know that I have my own Juice Line Circuit e-liquid. Um, I didn't have a booth at this convention. I wasn't ready for that. You know, I just started up, and I wanted to be completely ready before I... I actually got a booth however you guys know i'm a reviewer at heart uh, i've been running god of Aiden for six years and that doesn't mean that i'm not going to tell somebody if i like their juice or not and just to let you know i know you guys are like oh you got a juice line and you don't need to review other juices i don't really review juices and anytime anyone's ever sent me any e-liquid if i didn't like it uh, since juice is so subjective 
If I didn't like it, I just don't review it and don't tell you guys anything about it. However, if I do, I want to share that with you guys. I want you guys to uh, know that I liked it and maybe uh, encourage you to pick it up in the future. So with that being said, I picked up some really nice juice lines uh, from several vendors that I absolutely loved. I'm talking about love. Uh, let's see, Vape Wild, uh, they won the best of 2015 on several categories and I finally got a chance to try their juice and let me just go ahead and tell you I know now why I received so many emails of people saying oh uh, vape wild is great and this flavor is great and so many votes for their juice it's because their liquid is fucking delicious my wife right now she took my liquid out of her damn tank to put in what, what is it called baby cowboy cooler that's what she took my liquid out of her tank to put cowboy cooler in her tank so i mean that just goes to tell you right there it don't matter if i got a juice line or not if we like a juice we like a juice you know what i'm saying now also another cool thing about going to conventions is that you get prices that are really low now say if i go to a vapor shop locally I'm gonna pay a good amount for batteries. However, when you go to a convention, you can get uh, the LG HG2s for only $4 a battery. So of course, I picked up some HG2s. I also got some shirts. Got a few different shirts. Uh, it's a, you can't really see it, guys, but anyways, it's an ohm symbol, and it says, obey the law. Uh, let's see what else. I got tons of stuff from Cool master, those guys, they're just fucking awesome. Me and my wife, we had to get us some Vapor Slam Get Slam shirts, as you can see right here. And to be honest with you guys, I've been having a blast, and this is only the first day. Now, I usually don't take my wife to conventions. I usually uh, gather up some of my friends and we'll head on down to the convention and have some fun like we did in Tampa. However, I wanted my wife to be more involved in what I do, more involved in the vaping community uh, to get to experience what I'm experiencing. So with that being said, my wife, as you can see, she came with me to Vapor Slam 2. We've been having a blast. Isn't she so cute? Mm, I love you. But anyways, She's come with me and she's enjoying the shit out of it. I mean, guys, don't come to these conventions by yourself anymore. Bring your wife or your spouse, your loved one, whatever, your partner. Bring whoever. Side chick. <laughs> yeah, your side chick, you know what I mean? But whoever. Bring whoever you can to these um, so that you can really enjoy that time with them and share the same experience that you're getting. Oh, one more thing before I go out of this vlog, I got to show you her fucking mod. Okay, so this is the mod that she uses, um, which is the K-Box Nano. And as you can see, it's uh, the sub tank Nano at the top. But I was like, baby, you see those damn drip tips? And it was, what, is, what was it called? Trippy tip? No, no, not trippy tips. Um, drip. Third, third eye tips or some shit like that. I'll find the link and uh, show you guys or whatever. But anyways, so she picked up this drip tip right here. It's like a, it's just a big ass drip tip with a 510 uh, base on it. So it can fit in, you know, your sub tanks and um, all your different tanks. But anyways, the funny shit about it is she's got the nano tank and the drip tip is basically as big as the damn tank itself. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I mean, So guys, that's about it for the first day. Um, we're gonna be getting something to eat. We, we're staying at the Loft, which is where Chris uh, Winfrey, um, he, he's running this whole thing and he's staying here also. So I'm hoping later tonight I can catch up with him in the lobby and uh, have a few vapes with him while he's not busy. We finally conked out. It was a little late for me, so I ended up waking up late for Saturday. But either way, I still made it to the event and I had a blast.
coming real, it's the next episode. Now, the second day, Saturday, uh, it was even bigger than the first. The vendors were completely set up. There were more people that showed up on Saturday. And as you can see in this next bit of video, you can see everybody was having a great time. for businesses to actually connect with their consumers directly and sell to them directly. A retail and wholesale. Big block. Music that's truly what it's helped me through. All that walking around and uh, viewing the different vendors, trying the different e liquids, you build up an appetite. So, me uh, and my wife, Daniel, and his wife and his buddies, we all decided to go get some Bojangles. <laughs> One of the coolest things about visiting this event, not only did I got to take my wife with me, but I was also going there to meet Daniel, uh, the guy that writes for me. You guys know him as Daniel Hall. He's also known as the Vaping Demon. And as many of you know, I've been running Guide to Vaping for this last six years, uh, just about by myself. So it was a big thing for me to hire somebody on to the Guide to Vaping team. And after this event, meeting Daniel face to face, I finally realized that this is the for sure guy that I want to represent the guy to vape name. He shares the same views as me, the same passion, and overall the same excitement that I have for the vaping industry. So Daniel, I'm calling you out in this video. Thank you for working with me on Guide to Vaping. Thanks for making the content even greater than it's already been. And thank you for making the time that me and my wife had at this event more enjoyable. Now my back against the wall and I'm asking y'all for help. Without music in my life, my life would be a living hell. A living Lately, hell. I don't even have the funds to make it happen. I've been selling shit for cheap so I can... My wife and I needed to get back home. Our kids have school on Monday. My wife has school on Monday. So we decided to skip Sunday and go ahead and come home. So we said our goodbyes to Daniel and his group. And then we headed back to the hotel. We didn't want to end our time in Charlotte, North Carolina. I mean, this is a... This is a awesome, awesome place. Uh, I mean, it's nothing like what we're used to here. So we wanted to make the most out of our time. Me and my wife, we went and picked something up to eat. Uh, we went and seen a movie, and we also went and looked around the town. All right, guys, so right now we are in the plaza that's at the, the Aloft Hotel that we're staying at, and uh, we're about to go find us a Starbucks. We're, we are not from a city like this, but we're having a blast. Look at this place. Tall buildings, neon lights. Yeah, this shit don't happen. We're a real problem. You work up on my passion and it sucks. Yeah. But I know that if I just keep it up, I'll have enough support from y'all to stand up and walk tough. Some see it as a song, but for me, I see it life. And I'm never gonna stop till the day that I die. My 
with scars Lost hopes, my broken heart I never thought I'd get this far But now I'm pulling out this card Bro, God, I'm my lost soul I gained passion and made art They told me, devil, you'll never make it I never listened, I kept on Low key, I feel confident Cause we popping off with no honors list People told me no education These blanks this But with dedication, I swear to God We'll be celebrating After that, we went back to our hotel It was a very adventurous weekend so we were pretty tired and we were ready to go ahead and get on home. That being said, we went ahead and conked out and uh, prepared for the morning drive. So guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage me and my wife was able to capture. I want to go ahead and personally thank Mooch and Freeze for hosting this event. These events that they're putting on is absolutely huge. I mean, you know, I've went to uh, conventions in the past. I've been to vape meets in the past. And I've never experienced anything like Vapor Slam 2. It wasn't just the event itself. I mean, it was, you know, the event was huge. I mean, it was massive. Uh, but what me and my wife enjoyed the most was how friendly everybody was. Now, I'm not saying that past conventions, I didn't receive a friendly type feel. But with this convention, I don't know what it was. Everybody was friendly. It was like like the event just went perfectly. You know, sometimes when you go to um, a, events or something like that, these vape meets, it kind of feels awkward when you go in a big crowd of people. But for some reason, this one wasn't like that at all. I went into this big old crowd of people. You know, there were uh, 6,000, I think, in the general admission, uh, basically the public that entered, and about 500 of them uh, or 500 more were VIP. So there were a lot of people there and to be around that many people, no awkwardness. It felt good. Everybody gave you smiles. Everybody uh, wanted to tell you what they were vaping on. And even when we got back to the hotel, everything continued. All that friendliness, it continued even at the hotel that was full of vapors. We just had a great time and I appreciate everybody that was at this event and made it what it was. And with that being said, guys, everyone at Vapor Slam 2, thank you for making it a very, very enjoyable weekend for me and my wife. To all the vendors, thank you for all the great deals. And to all the e-liquid vendors, thank you for making me get nicked out. And as always, guys, Thanks for watching these videos. If you like them, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, vape on. I ain't never gave a damn about what people saying. I just do this because I got like nothing else. Put the weight up on my shoulders, truly I can show you hell. But I'm never gonna melt because you ain't felt what I have felt. And if you did, then you would know that there is truly nothing else. I just try and try again, I'll never stop. And don't pretend, just need a pen, a pencil pad, whatever I can use to script. And from there, I'll show you everything and anything I am. Just take a look, this is me. I don't got no other plans. Listen.